Sisters and brothers, awe nusiemi, Pastor Melo speaking. In the name of Tatanzambi Yamazulu, creator of heavens and earth, the one who anointed me to be your servant and to get you prepared to go back to Zion, Congo de Antotela, the Vuvamu, peace be unto you. Today is Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020, and we are making our 22nd video. The theme of this video was inspired me by Sister Trinia Alexander, to whom I send my greetings of love and uh, many, many matondo, matondo masaka. Sister Trinia Alexander sent me 10 days ago the following message. Nusie mi family and tio melo. I just remember that when I was learning about the Aboriginal Tainos of Puerto Rico, I read that they called their creator Semi. It is absolutely amazing that we find the same term among the Congo people of Central Africa and the Tainos of Puerto Rico in America the same term to designate the Piero. It should be remembered that approximately 8,000 kilometers separate the two peoples, not to mention the Atlantic Ocean. This reinforces us in the idea that indeed Kikongo is the native language of mankind which during the Tower of Babel exploded into hundreds of different languages. But more extraordinary still is the fact that this term semi corresponds exactly to the definition which is given in the Bible of the name of the Most High. As you now know, Semi means uh, at the same time creator, word, and seed. Creator corresponds to Isaiah chapter 48, verse 13, and many, many other passages of the Bible. Indeed, my hand has laid the foundation of the earth and my right hand has stretched out the heavens. When I call to them, they stand up together. Word corresponds to Hebrew chapter 11, verse 3, and many, many other passages of the Bible. By faith, we understand that the words were framed by the word of the Most High so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. And seed corresponds to Luke chapter 8, verse 11. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. And this sum up everything. The seed is the word of God, and the word of God is the Most High Himself, in Semi. Sisters and brothers, do you realize the privilege you have when you greet each other, Semi, Nusiemi, to know that you are using the only language in the world that gives glory to the Most High just by saying hello? Indeed, in the word semi, you have semi, 
the creator. Siemi is the conjugation of the verb siama, which is from the same root, the same family as sema, which means to create, to speak. So when you say siemi, you imply, are you walking with the Most High? Are you in communion with your Creator? No other language in the world is so spiritual, is so in tune with the Almighty. I chose 12 languages as a comparison, as a counter example, to bring out these truths. Even Hebrew, which is supposed to be the language of the Bible, does not compare with Kikongo. Let's go. In English, you say, hello, how are you? How are you doing? No mention of the Most High. Second, in German, hello, wie geht's dir? No mention of the Most High. Third, Spanish. Buenos dias, como esta? No mention of the Most High. Four, Portuguese. Hola, como vai você? No mention of the Most High. In French, bonjour, como ça va? Comment allez-vous? No mention of the Most High. Six, in Hebrew, Shalom, Ma Shlomech, no mention of the Most High. In Italian, Buongiorno, come stai? No mention of the Most High. Eight, in Russian, Privet, Kakti, no mention of the Most High. In Japanese, Konnichiwa, Ngeki Desu, no mention of the Most High. In Chinese, Ni Hao, Ni Hao Ma, no mention of the Most High. In Swahili, Alo, Abariyako, or Abarizako, no mention of the Most High. And 12, in Arabic, Sabah al-Khir, Kaif al no mention of the Most High. So, by these 12 examples, we can see that we are bringing the proof that Kikongo is indeed the native language of mankind, the language of Nsemi, the Creator. Kikongo is the language prophesied by Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 9. For then I will restore to the peoples a pure language, a pure language, that they all may call on the name of the Lord to serve him with one accord. To call on the name of the Lord and serve him with one accord should start as soon as we wake up in the morning and throughout the day just by greeting one another. Siemi, no siemi, the only language which realizes this feat is the Congo language, the language of Nsemi. Nsemi is Simeon. Simeon is Nsemi. Ingeta.